Hello, welcome to Woodline Tracking. We're going to go over the importance of following SOPs and good security today. And I think the best way to try to make you think about this and explain this is a little story. Once there were two sergeants that were sent out to do an OPLP more or less in, out in the bush. They were out there for hours, didn't see nothing, had to do a sleep report every so often, check in with HQ. And uh, things went on and on, not much activity, not seeing much. Then all of a sudden, the one that was in charge of comms got radio message from HQ telling them new orders, what they wanted to do. So he calls over the other sergeant and they started talking, standing there talking about what the new orders and what they need to do and putting a plan together. Well, all of a sudden, bang, one of the sergeants get hit. He's killed and dead. There was a two-man enemy team watching him. Didn't know where they were at, but figured it out pretty fast and got one of them. The other one went down the ground, started returning fire, was able to get one of them. And then the other one kind of fell back a little bit. The other bad guy fell back a little bit. And the sergeant being angry that his buddy got killed, went after him thinking I can get him. Well, he took up after him and unknown to him, there was another two, three man team with the m &E's that was flanking him, ready to do an attack. And he got killed. Bad situation, bad problem. The only good thing about this was it was a training scenario, force on force training scenario with projectiles so everybody knew who was hit. Now we break this down, the two sergeants got kind of complacent and broke all SOPs when they wanted to talk. They needed to sort of got behind cover, got down back to back, talked to each other, and they would never been spotted. Another mistake was once the one sergeant got hit and the other sergeant started returning fire, he should never went down there and went after him because he had no combat monitor priors. He didn't know how many was down there. He had no idea. He should have peeled out of there, got a, and got back and radioed in, wait for support or waited for orders and not took on the fight because he had no idea what was there. And as you can see, he got hit. Um, my point behind all of this is, and this this happened at the Howard Defense Force, by the way, on a training, force on force training scenarios. And my point behind all of this is that you need to do good scenarios and force on force with some type of projectile so you know who's hit and where you injured and all that. So you will make the mistakes in training and not in real life. That's how you get better at this kind of things. And um, you can, you need to tailor to what scenarios and what training you think you'll be in and go from there. Now, again, if they would have followed SOPs, they would have done a lot better because, and maybe none of them got hit or maybe they would have got a couple of them got out of there. We don't know. That wasn't what happened. In my experience, most of the time, when you break down, you don't follow the standard SOPs, you get sloppy and impatient, that's usually when things go bad for you. Um, and usually the teams are the men that make the mistakes and get caught are the ones that always pay for it. So you want to make sure your team or does not make the mistakes the other team, you catch them when their pants are down. So I urge you to train hard to come up with good scenarios, force on force scenarios with projectiles, that's a cue, you need to use airsoft, paint bars, or lasers, or sims, or something, because you, that's the only way to take it to the next level. Come up with that for, and you can have a lot of fun, and you can learn a lot, and you, if it ever comes down, you have to do it in real life, at least you have experience in doing it, and you know what mistakes not to make. And you always learn something, no matter how good you get at it, you always learn something. So I urge you to do that. Now, if you are interested in
doing some scenario or force on force training, we offer that at Woodline, see what we're offering. We'd love to have you come down and put you to some good scenarios and make you think. And, and you, I guarantee you'll learn something. Now, if you're looking for some steady, good pale military training, like the story I just told, and you live in Ohio, check out the Howard Defense Force. They will train you up in pale military and you'll go force on force and you'll learn all kinds of stuff and you get real force on force experience with that. So, enough said. I hope you enjoyed this video on the importance of SOPs and good security. Remember, time may go on, but your life may not. Enjoy.